Hi everyone, my name is Skylar from SkyXL, and today I will be showing you how to sum values if a cell contains a specific text. I will also reveal how we can enhance the SUMIF function to create criteria that matches values beginning or ending with a specific text. If we look at this table here, we have item numbers in one column and quantity in another. Our goal is to sum the quantity of a product depending on the text that item number contains. For example, if we select 101 from our drop-down list, we want to output the sum of every item that contains the string 101. We will be using the SUMIF function to make this possible. So let's click in the cell where we want our output to be located, and in the formula bar, type the equal sign and sum if. The first argument we need to input is the range of cells that we want evaluated, which in this case is the cells in the item number column. The next argument is the criteria which is used to determine which cells to add. We'll be referencing cell F4 for the criteria. The last argument is the range that we want to sum if our criteria is met, which are all the cells in the quantity column. Currently the output for this formula is zero. The reason why is because it is looking for a cell that only contains 101. For example, if I change the first item in our list just to 101 that has a quantity of 8, our total will be 8. One way to fix this is to replace F4 in our formula with open quotes, asterisk mark, 101, asterisk mark, and close quotes. I know this may look odd to you, but when dealing with a string of text, Excel requires us to use quotes, and the asterisks are called wildcards which I will explain later in this video. Now our formula sums the quantity of every item that contains 101. But since we have hard-coded 101 in our formula, if we change F4 to 201 or 301, our formula does not automatically update, which prevents us from achieving that dynamic functionality we look for to enhance our spreadsheets. To make this formula work the way we want it to, we need to change 101 back to cell F4, but this time we will add quotes around both of the asterisk marks, and then add ampersand signs before and after F4. So now if we select a different item to search for, it will sum the quantities associated to that criteria. Now we can take this formula to the next level by utilizing the asterisk marks. As I mentioned before, these asterisk marks are called wildcards, meaning that we can choose what our criteria starts with or ends with. The ampersand signs are meant for combining our wildcards with our root criteria. For example, if we wanted to sum the quantities for the item numbers that start with the letter R and contains 201, we have to add a R in our formula before the first asterisk mark. We should get an output of 9 because if we look at our table, we have one R201 with a quantity of 3 and another R201 with a quantity of 6. We can experiment with this formula in many different ways. For example, we can get rid of the R and search for item numbers that contain 101 and ends with A. Or we can get rid of F4 completely and search for item numbers that start with an S and end with a B. As you can see, there are multiple options you can choose from to determine how you want to use this formula. Well, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and are able to understand the versatility of this formula and get a chance to implement it into your upcoming Excel projects. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions, and as always, thanks for watching.